Hello, I'm Moon Beaver, and we're finally going to finish off the medieval clock tower. Oh, wouldn't you know, there's another sheep there. What a surprise! Oh dear, I, I just despair of these creatures, I really do. Anyway, bit of a celebration with a bit of bad news. I did hit 400 subs today, which is absolutely phenomenal, and then this evening I lost two, so I'm back at 398, but 400, brilliant stuff, and I've got to say thank you so much to Moving Player Studios. Uh, that game Cubicolor, which I will be releasing my review of this week, they've agreed to send me some codes for their game for the, a giveaway to celebrate 400 subscribers. And they said I'm going to have to wait until the beginning of June when the next batch of codes come through. So they said they'd give me some for a giveaway. So keep an eye on my Twitter. There's always the links on my channel and in the description. So follow me and keep an eye out for the beginning of June when I will do my giveaway for QB Colour. And there is no embargo, so I can talk about it. It's a fantastic little puzzle game. If you've not heard of them, you may have heard of their indie title Level 22, which is a fantastic little game. And that one's worth checking out also but enough about that for now we're going to get on with this build it's nearly done so as you can see what i've done with the wooden slabs and stairs put the little trim round with some cobble and now we're putting some columns of wood blocks in here and extend the roof because that's going to be a bit of a tiny roof, it's going to be too small so I reckon we should expand this out a, a little bit. Do you reckon? Just give it a little bit of a bigger roof, not too big, don't want it overpowering and then looking a bit top heavy. First we'll put stone brick stairs and a fence post in to work as the clock hands pretty cool I think. I mean you don't have to use these, I mean you, you could use fence posts for both if you wish. It's totally your call. But for now that'll do. But that's your clock face. So I know there's some people out there who struggle to do it. I was speaking to someone on Facebook about it and he wasn't sure how he was going to do it so if by chance you're watching this video mate there you go. I've done that for you now. Uh, what should we do with this? How should we do this? I reckon like that. Yeah, that, that'll work. That'll be fine. Anywho, for the, just wondering if, if there's anyone watching, have you got Doom yet? If not, go buy it. It's absolutely amazing. I'll be the first to admit I was extremely sceptical, but oh boy is that game fun. Absolutely amazing, I think, I've got to say they've nailed it. So yes, that's also good. And another fantastic little indie game I bought in the sale, uh, Unravel. Just wow, just go play it, honestly it's beautiful. And as you can see what I'm doing here, we're going back to the build again. We're just bringing them blocks out like that with the stairs. So not only are we going to have four peaks on this roof, but they're also going to stick out a bit. Um, it's, it's an easy little process. Once you've done it a few times, you can just judge where everything goes when you start doing it more often. And obviously you can make them bigger and bigger. It's, it's, it is very easy, don't be put off trying it if you haven't tried it before, it, it is something that anyone can do, I mean, I, I've learned how to do it, so there's no stopping you, so if it's the design of a roof you, that you uh, are quite taken by, have a go about it, play around with it, <clears throat> if you want to see a tutorial on how to make a big roof, I 
quite happily do that for you folks. I don't mind. And yes, it yeah, skips there, doesn't it? Because I'm still using the very basic recording apps. And yes, it does annoy the bejesus out of me. But what I'm going to do here, is I don't want a flat roof, I'm going to raise the middle bit. So, watch this. I only tried this little trick out recently. So, we'll see how this one goes. It is very, very simple once you've done it. Like I said, with the, the peaks protruding. It's just simple little things like this can make your build stand out and just look that little bit pretty rather than just having a plain flat roof. You know, try new things. There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. Put that block in there. We'll come back to the top. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet. Right, as you can see, there's not much space in here, so you, you're probably wondering how am I going to do something with this? Well, let me show you. Now, we'll leave that one there, actually. What we'll do, put one there, one there, and we'll put stairs of the oak variety in there. And then down here, I'll put oak stairs, and then in the middle, I'll put wooden block. And then we'll meet them up there like that. So the next row, we'll block with stairs either side, and then wooden block on top of that. Then we'll uh, swap them round to face out. Ah, that looks wrong. That, that's too much. It's too much. There you go. So, even with just a few blocks and a very small space, you can still create a nice detailed looking roof. I mean, don't don't be afraid to try different blocks out. If you if you don't want to use a cobblestone, you can use stone brick, or you can use spruce wood or birch, or the framework you could change to the wood and then have stone insert. It's totally up to you, guys and gals of the internet. My little beaverlings, as I like to call you. It's a term of endearment, don't you know? <laughs> but yes, you are my little beaverlings, and if I could give you all a hug, I would, because you support my channel and I love you very much. Oh, someone's joined my game. I usually have this world locked down so people can't. Oh, they won't mess around. I don't keep people like that on my friends list, thankfully. Although I am very dubious about people being on my Beavercraft world. Unless, you know, I've seen something they've done or they've been recommended. Because I've been briefed only the once on Beavercraft, but it's, it's still not a very nice thing to do. I don't like it. Oh, and she's gone again. Never mind, she probably realised it's not the world she was hoping for. But yeah, she, she's been on quite a few times on Beavercraft and had a good old look around, so that's not bad. I don't mind that. Anyway, just adding some finishing touches here. This is pretty much done. Some fence posts and torches. Don't have to use a fence post, you can use a, a cobblestone wall. Completely up to you. Do this and stick it out a bit more. Haha, ha, ha. that's what I was missing. So there we go. So on the front of that block, we'll put stairs and then three half slabs. So it protrudes just the one over. Nope, that's it. There we go. We'll do this last one. There we are. Should we put in here? We'll put some uh, iron railings in. That looks pretty sweet. It's a bit dark though, so what we'll do? Put some fence post coming down. <coughs> Pardon me. 
and now yeah you can tell my five minutes was up for that clip from the DVR app joy but here we'll put some lighting in and make it look pretty cool there we go that's how you do it just to see where else we can fit something in just to spruce the place up a bit Oh, looky, it's Raven's Claw 1985. The guy's going to be getting his YouTube channel back up and running again soon, folks, so you might want to go uh, check out that. He was in my top five best builds video with his, quite frankly, beautiful, absolutely stunning Oriental build. I, I was gobsmacked. It, it was a beautiful world to visit. And my daughter even has a tree named after her. She was absolutely taken by the pink trees. <laughs> anyway, we're coming to the end of this video. That's pretty much all done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I really like doing this one. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. I'm more than happy to have a go at building something for you, whether it be steampunk or medieval. It can be something completely different. Totally up to you. Just hit me up with a message on Xbox Live or Twitter or on Facebook or leave a comment on the video that's cool I don't mind I'll do, I'll do whatever I can to entertain you educate you or just mildly amuse you totally up to you my lovely little fuzzy beavelings um, carry on sharing with everyone you can pass it round to everybody like the videos if you like them if you don't then that's cool too and don't forget to subscribe and comment let me know what you think uh, next video cubicolor review for the xbox one and i shall see you later bye, bye.